What do your employees say about their experience with your business? Have you ever asked your employees about their experience with your company? Most businesses focus on their customer experience or CX and they disregard or they don't even look at their employee experience, also known as EX. Now, what is this EX I'm talking about or employee experience? Well, employee experience has to do with everything your employees experience or the engagement that they have with your company, starting from the first time that they walk into that doors for an interview with your company, right through the, the, the period of employment with your company, until the day they decide to move on and leave your company and after that. That whole process from start to finish is what's called employee experience. Now, most companies, large organizations and companies are realizing that employee experience is critical to the company's success moving forward now and into the future. A lot of large organizations and companies are now investing a lot of money into employee experience because they understand that this is critical and important. They're investing in things like uh, market research and also quantitative and qualitative research into the experience and the engagement that their employees have with their organizations. One example is VW. VW Australia are using things called employee pulses to be able to uh, test and also uh, understand how their employees are engaging and the experiences that their employees are having with their company. Through this assessment and through these processes, they made some changes. So one change that they made was they, st they redid the flaws in the workshops of their service departments and they also added the names and name tags on the the lockers and on on some of the areas that the staff worked in and they found that that improved engagement it improved productivity as well and that made the staff happier now when you have happy staff that obviously in turn leads to better productivity more engaged staff and they then produce better results and they provide better customer experiences because they're having a better experience with the company. So a couple of things that you can do to improve your employee experience. It's simple. Understand what is the first thing. When a new employee joins your organization, do you have a great onboarding process? Do you walk them through what your company values are, what your company focus is, your company mission. Do you have someone that then brings them on and works with them um, during their initial first few days, creating a great experience, cre uh, getting them to understand how your company and organization works. So that can be the very first thing that you can do to create a better experience. From there onwards as well, when you're creating um, journeys, maps for customer experience, are you incorporating your employees in that? Are you taking and saying, well, to, to, to achieve this for the customer, what does our staff need to do? And then how do we make that experience for the staff better? So include your, your, your employees in that customer journey and create a journey for your employees along that way as well. So you have both an employee journey and a customer journey, and they should work seamlessly and integrate seamlessly together because that, that way you know that a great employee experience is gonna to lead to a great customer experience. So one of the things that uh, Richard Branson said was, your customers don't come first, your employees come first. And the reason for that is because your employees will treat your business as if it's their own. So that's critical in that because when you create those kind of experiences and that engagement with our staff, then they are certainly gonna look after the company and look after your business better. A few other things that you can do to create better experiences with your customers, with your employees. So we're so used to saying customer experience. So, you know, we've got to change that mindset as well and start thinking about our employees as well in their experience. So what you can do there as well is, especially as a business leader, be seen, be, be on the floor, be on, put, get, get out there and mix among your, your team. 
That way you're engaging with them. You can understand what their challenges are, what their problems are, and then you can solve those things together. And when you solve them and you make that experience better, your employees become your number one advocates because they then going to sell your business. They, If they enjoy showing up at work and they enjoy the work that they do because it's engaging and the experience is great, then they're definitely going to be telling potential customers. They're going to be telling family members about your business, about your products, about the service. They're going to be want to talk about what it is that they do and how great it is to work for your organization. And they become your number one advocates in that sense as well. So getting out there, mixing and being part of the team, not just sitting behind your desk and barking orders, but getting out there and um, engaging with your staff as well. That's a critical way to go through. Let me share with you some key stats about employee engagement and how it has a dramatic effect on the performance of your business. On average, 53% of employees globally report feeling engaged at work. So that means just over half of employees in the workforce actually feel engaged. So that means there's another 50% or 47% that are unengaged. That leads to poor productivity, poor customer experience, uh, they're not meeting their sales targets or they're not meeting any of their performance targets as well. Employees whose managers consistently acknowledge them for good work are five times more likely to stay at the company. So as a, as a leader, as a manager, if you are constantly acknowledging the good work that your staff are doing or your team is performing, then those staff members are going to stay on and they at the company. They're going to feel engaged. They're going to feel, have a better experience. The flip side is if you are constantly reprimanding your staff, then they're not going to produce the results that you need them to produce. And chances are they're not going to stay with your company that much. Uh, another stat there is engaged employees generate two and a half times more revenue compared to unengaged employees. So as I mentioned, you know, definitely engaged employees produce better results and better outcomes as well. Unengaged employees or employees that have bad experiences at work, they take 15 more sick days than engaged employees or other averaged workers as well. So as you can see, productivity is certainly affected when people are unengaged at work and they have poor experience in their workplace as well. So these key stats clearly highlights the importance of creating great employee experiences and engaging more with your employees as well. At the end of the day, employee engagement produces better performance, better productivity from your staff, creates more engaged staff, and that in turn results in a better performing business, a more successful business.